So Zwift for iOS finally here. What does that mean? Well, we can Zwift from almost anywhere now. Let's put that to the test. I think I've got a smart trainer we can use. Okay, Bluetooth, searching, let's go, surprise me. This is on your iPhone. This is on my iPhone, okay, cool. Great. Okay, so I think I found a really, really good smart trainer. We'll give it a shot before security gets here. Let's go, cool. So again, Zwift iOS and the world's longest smart train. Okay, finally got my gearing sorted. Oh, this is at least a 16% climb. Okay, started my lap. 270 watts. I tell you what, as a smart trainer, I can't recommend elevating as a smart trainer. Travel leader. Okay, time to get in before security comes. Come on, let's go. Down here. Get a top tube! <laughs> Alright. And he's gone. <laughs> Okay, we're still on. We've done a kilometer. One K on Zwift. And who would have thought? There's a car up. What? I didn't think there were cars on Zwift. Oh, hang on. Are we, we're not even on Zwift anymore, are we? <laughs> I think we've crossed some sort of time barrier in here. Oh, turn. Yes, turn, turn, turn. Okay, Zwift for iOS, now available for the public. You'll need yourself a compatible iOS device, such as a compatible iPhone or iPad. You'll also need yourself a Zwift account, so head on over to Zwift.com and sign up, or sign up within the app itself. Jump onto the iTunes store, download your copy, and let's enjoy the ride together. Also, a few other things to note as well. You need Bluetooth devices, there's no App Plus support. Even with the App Plus dongle, there's no App Plus support, so Bluetooth devices only for now. More details are linked below. Anyhow, I'll have to have more fun getting some more K's in in the open air. Anyway, thanks for watching.